what we'll hide there. We haven't been in the studio for a while, have we? So I thought I'd bring you in and show you what I'm up to. I've been getting ready for a show at uh, the Lucky Rabbit in Annapolis. It's such a lovely place. And there are, are three brilliant women artists there. And uh, I'm really touched to be able to show there in May. All up for the whole month. But I'll keep you up to date about when the opening is and what their open days are and so on. So we'll just do a little a little walk around here. Some of the paintings have been up for a while, but um, but quite a bit is new. This I've never actually hung it anywhere, and part of the problem is it's four feet square, and it won't fit in my car. <laughs> Note to self: don't paint that big or get a cargo van. But I hope to show it this summer. There are a few paintings here that are are completely brand new for this year. Actually, if I angle that, then everything in your sight line is new this year. The one on the easel, I'm working on her. And I did start her a few years ago. Um, but I wasn't happy with the result, or I didn't resolve it. I felt really stuck. And so when I feel stuck, I put the canvas away and bring it out later when, because when you bring it out later like that, it feels new and fresh. And it's easier to see some of the changes that you want to make, but also you're not so close to the subject anymore, right? So it's easier to be, to feel detached from it initially until you start getting into it with the paint again and you know it's it's hard to see sometimes and often there will be a painting that I'm just crazy about and in love with and uh, no one else seems to feel that way or the reverse sometimes I've had a good time doing a painting it's finished and I don't feel any particular attachment to it but then other people will say, wow, I have to have that. Which is all to say that people's preferences are very personal. And it's really impossible to, to know what they are, right? We all have our favorite place in the world that we'd like to be, or that if we are meditating, for instance, that we imagine that that is the ideal place to go. And of course it varies with, with everyone, right? Just as your painting preference varies as well. So, I love every painting while I'm working on it. And once it's finished, there are a few that I feel I can't part with. And sometimes it's because it, there's been some breakthrough achieved and a new way of seeing the world, a new way of seeing, you know, a particular flower or a landscape. To me, the thrill and the excitement is in the doing. And once it's done, I'm not that interested in it. So it makes it easy to sell my work and to have it go to someone else. And I know with other people's paintings that I've purchased, or even with my own paintings that I have kept, they really do take on a life of their own. They, because you overlay them with uh, personal meaning. Okay, for instance, I sold a painting once to a ophthalmologist, not directly, but through a gallery. And the title of that painting was, I see the, ro the world through rose-colored glasses. Now, I've often wondered, 
was he drawn to that painting and then saw the title and thought, yes, I need this for my office in downtown Halifax? Or did he read the title first and then fall in love with the painting? Anyway, whichever way, and maybe the title meant nothing, but I think that uh, people connect with a painting for different, for a number of different reasons, and sometimes they don't even know why, right? If you are an artist, I would suggest to you that you paint what you feel and what, what feels good for you, what you love. Forget about trying to, you know, paint what you think people will like, because it's impossible. It's totally impossible. So I'll show you a few more images and then I have to get back to work on this beautiful painting here. I hope it will be totally beautiful when it's done. Of my gorgeous Forsythia. I have a bush outside. I brought, I brought these in a couple of weeks ago. And look at them now, eh? Yeah, I brought these in a couple of weeks ago. They were bare branches and look at them now. And this, this is what I'm working on. But I have to really, I have to get going. <laughs> Brought to you by Sisabu Coffee. The painter's favorite choice. <laughs> This painter's favorite choice. Okay, it's time to get down to business here. So I'll say goodbye. Thank you very much for listening and especially for subscribing to my various media. Um, drop me a line sometime. Bye for now.